So we're here at the Governor Gore Bird Sanctuary and we're going to be doing a quick survey of the waterfowl in this area and uh, also any passerines, which are songbirds, that um, use this habitat as well. So we've seen so far, we've seen um, some whistling ducks, uh, common gallinule, smooth-billed annies, a least bittern. Do you remember any more? We saw hickatees, yes. We saw some like reptiles that also use this habitat. So obviously there's a diverse uh, range of species that can utilize a wetland habitat. So the dumper of species that we see is also um, important to indicate how healthy the habitat is. So you see that, you see the bird flying there now? The flap, 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 glide, flap, mm -hmm. flap, flap, glide. Yeah. That's a very distinctive pattern, and that's the Yanhinga. Oh, yeah. Okay. So you see how it's like now it's gliding, and now it's yeah. flapping, now it's gliding. Yeah. So that you can always tell, even from this far away, that that's Whoa. a Yanhinga. Above the vegetation line, there's a green crane, and right below that green crane is the osprey. A lot of these birds, some of them are endemic, but also some of them are migratory. So they fly from the Arctic where they nest, and then they come down and migrate here or overwinter here. And by looking at their body condition, we can see um, their health, and that also indicates how healthy the habitats from the north are, or if where they're overwintering, how healthy or what um, risk factors are um, impeding their mortality also in their survival. So bird watching is a much more than just looking at birds. So it can indicate a great deal about the ecosystem's health. Birds are the sentinel of like the health of an environment.